to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm Millie and I'm currently doing a solo trip around Andalusia. In my last vlog, I was exploring all the beautiful patios of Cordoba during their famous patio festival. Today, I'm here in Cadiz, the oldest city in Spain and one of the oldest in Western Europe. And I've only got one full day here, so come with me and see how much I can squeeze in. So I'm starting my day at Plaza de San Juan de Dios and this is a lovely place to take a stroll. It's right next to the port, which is why this bit used to be the heart of the city. But there's loads of cafes, restaurants, there's a few market stalls, there's a little water fountain. It's really pretty here. So I arrived at Cadiz yesterday evening. I literally just went straight to the hostel, dumped my bags off and went straight out for food. I found a restaurant called Mas que la Cresta and they had a great selection of vegan burgers. So I was well happy, it was really nice. But the hostel I'm staying in is called Planeta Cadiz and I had a great night's sleep last night. It's very comfortable. But yeah, I absolutely love the hostel so far. It's got a lovely top terrace where you can enjoy your breakfast, just have a sit and relax. It's got a kitchen you can use where you can make all your food. They don't have breakfast included, but they do have a bar on the top terrace where you can buy food if you didn't bring any with you and you do want to eat at the hostel. And one thing I really love about the room is there's a privacy curtain on the bed, which helps me a lot because I don't want anyone looking at me when I'm sleeping. So that makes me feel a lot better. But no, the hostel's been great so far. So, so far, so good. I would recommend it at the moment. I'll let you know if anything changes. I didn't really know which direction I was walking in to be honest, I was just following the crowd, but it happened to lead me to the cathedral. It's only five euros to enter and that's to the cathedral, the museum and the clock tower and the price includes an audio guide. From the clock tower you can actually see the whole city and the Atlantic Ocean which I'd say would be really nice. I'm not going to go up there myself because there's a different tower that I want to go to later. But yeah, I'd say it'd still be really nice. I've just arrived at the Roman theatre, but it's quite tricky to find. Unless you know exactly where it is, I don't think you'd find it. It's hidden away in like a little street and you have to open a door and go in to get here. But yeah, the best thing about it, it's totally free, including all the museum, the actual theatre itself. I'm walking through all these tunnels now and yeah, there's like no one here. So uh, it is really hidden, but yeah, it's free. So why not come and check it out? So this is actually the oldest Roman theatre in Spain and one of the biggest. It's the biggest in Cordoba. But yeah, the only other one I've seen is the one in Malaga. I do prefer that one. I think it look, it's been looked after a bit better, but obviously this has got more history to it. Like it looks a lot older. But yeah, it's really cool, worth visiting. Looks like a time ditch is right. There's a big school trip coming there, filling up the Roman theatre. <laughs> Glad I avoided that one. So I'm just walking through this plaza and I noticed there was loads of flowers everywhere. So I just checked on my Google map where it is and it's actually called Plaza de las Flores and it's a lovely little plaza. There's loads of shopping as well. There's a few market stalls and it's actually cheaper than a few of the boutiques that I've seen up this area selling the same kind of things. There's loads of cafes, restaurants. There's a guy busking, playing live music and stuff. Yeah, the atmosphere up here is really good, really busy. So I don't know if you can hear me, it's quite loud in here. It absolutely stinks of fish, but it smells really fresh because I think it's so close to the port. They must have the freshest fish here. But yeah, it's not really for me. It doesn't smell great. <laughs> but I'm hoping that I can get some kind of food here because I am starting to get really peckish now. But yeah, you can see this is where all the locals come to buy their like fruit and veg for the week, their meats, fish. And yeah, I haven't seen what else yet, but I'm hoping I can get some lunch. Okay, so inside the main part of the market, that's where they sell everything, like fresh food. But on the outside, this is where all the bars and restaurants are. Well, not exactly restaurants, but yeah, you get to sit at these high tables, enjoy a beer, a bit of food, a bit of tapas. 
Hopefully I can find something that I would like. So I was walking around, but it's mainly meat that they sell. But I found some gazpacho, which I tried for the first time in Setanil de las Bodegas. And it's like a traditional Andalusian soup. And it's, it's a cold soup, but I, I really like it. So uh, I've gone for this as a safe option. And it comes with a bit of bread as well. So it's a nice little snack for like my first lunch of the day. I'm sure I'll be eating again pretty soon. Mm. Really nice. It's actually topped with um, apples, which I've never seen before. But it's really nice, it's quite refreshing. So that was really nice. It was a very small portion, but it was cheap enough. It was only €2.50. But if you want to just come and sample it, that's all you really need. And it's quite an intense flavour, so you wouldn't want too much of it. So if you're coming here and you want to try the same thing, it's stand number 114. I'm actually going to head back to the hostel and grab my quick dry towel and swap my shoes because it's a lot hotter than I thought it would be today. And because I'm heading in the direction of like the beach area later on, I thought why not just chill out on the beach? I've had a few busy days and I really need to rest my feet. This is gorgeous. I've just walked to La Caleta Beach and I can see Castillo de San Sebastian over there and the beach is split into two because of like the walk to the castle but as that one is temporarily closed I'm going to walk across the beach to Castillo de Santa Catalina. So yeah hopefully that one's open and worth the walk. Okay so if you know the answer to this question will you tell me because I feel really stupid. There's loads of boats just like floating out on their own and I don't know if it's for show or not because like how are you supposed to get to the boat that you want to go to because it's not like it's in a harbour or anything they're just scattered around randomly. How are you supposed to get to it? Are you supposed to swim? I feel stupid for asking. Please tell me in the comments. <laughs> properly but just as a reference I'm standing outside Castillo de Santa Catalina now I've just walked across the beachfront and right over there is Castillo de San Sebastian but that's pretty much roughly how far away they are it's about a 10 minute walk across that beachfront there but it's a lovely walk you get lovely views and I'm so tempted to just go in and have a dip but I've got too much sightseeing to do today so I don't think I'm going to get time but if you're looking for a beach day it looks like a lovely beach two of my good friends John and Keona came to Cadiz a few years ago and saw this statue in this castle and they took a photo with it wearing the jumper and I'll show you here and they told me to find the statue and take my own version look at this what I did <laughs> everyone around me started laughing and they were like oh, I want my photo taken with it too so yeah my bikini's famous now So I just want to quickly mention that both castles that I've mentioned today are both free to enter. Obviously the San Sebastian Castle is temporarily closed at the moment, but it is a really cool spot to visit if you are into the James Bond films as they filmed Die Another Day there, so a little bit of information. And if you are interested in finding out a little bit more of the history about Santa Catalina Castle, there's a little museum in here as well with loads of pictures and little facts on the wall, so it's pretty cool. really cool you can see behind the little waterfalls although it doesn't smell great I feel like people may have used this but to go to the toilet oh. 
so I'm just sitting down for the first time today. My feet are killing me, but I'm at Parque Genoves and I wasn't planning on coming here, but it was right next to the beach where I just was. So I thought I might as well stop by and have a look. And it's lovely. There's a lovely waterfall over there. You can actually climb up to the top and have a look at it from the top and you get incredible sea views from up there. But this is actually the biggest green space in the whole city. So if you are looking to escape the city for a little bit and have a bit of peacefulness, I would recommend coming here. There's loads of benches. You can see it and bring a pack lunch maybe. There's a park area as well. If you've got kids, you can bring your kids, let them go on the park area, keep them busy burn off a bit of energy. <laughs> I'm just leaving the park now, but there is a cafe slash restaurant here in the park. If you are hungry, you don't bring a picnic or anything like that. And the menu looks pretty good or traditional like Spanish food. But yeah, I found a place on Google Maps that do vegan food. So I'm going to head there next. And then I'm probably going to head to the beach for a bit. I thought um, I might as well treat myself a little chill, get a little suntan. I can't go back home without a tan and I've been on holiday. <laughs> tourist attraction of the day is Torre Tavira and this is the highest point of the city offering the best views of Cadiz. It's seven euros to enter and I've had to book in advance to get like an English tour as there's something really interesting on the top floor. So come with me, check it out and let's see if it's worth visiting. I didn't know what to expect at all but yeah basically on the top of the tower they put like a tube up and there's one mirror and two lenses and basically the tour guide was turning it and we could see on a big screen like all the views of Cadiz. I wasn't allowed to like video too much I could get a few little videos here and there just to try and show you roughly what it was like but um, yeah definitely worth it it was really interesting actually to find out a bit more history and information about all the places that I went to earlier so uh, I know a bit more about the city now so that was really good if you're not interested in doing that part and you just want to go to the top of the tower to see all the views that's only five euro I paid seven euro for the tour but I thought it was worth it it was something really cool to see it's actually called Camera Oscar which is like dark camera and they have it in lots of different parts of Spain as well so you get to do the same thing in all different parts of Spain so I thought that was really good just one thing to know is that there are quite a lot of stairs to get to the top so um, if you're unable to climb them I wouldn't recommend it for you but if you're fit enough go for it there's just lovely views and it was definitely worth it <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed but my skin is looking a lot better i came back to the hostel and i came upstairs to the top terrace and the reps from herbal life were up here doing like a skincare routine like a demonstration showing us how to do it so i put the thing on my head and literally they had a little bowl and wash all my face and they gave me like a nice face mask and stuff like that just taught me how to use it i don't have a routine like that at all so it was really nice to learn how to do it properly and uh, yeah, got speaking Spanish, practicing a little bit. And uh, I didn't actually realize, but the Herbal Life, I recognize the name of it. And I used to use that protein powder for the gym. So I know it is good products. But yeah, if you're interested in anything like that, any skincare products, I'll link the page down below so you can check them out. I think I'm gonna leave the vlog there as I'm gonna go out for dinner now and just chill out for the rest of the night. But I have had a fantastic day exploring Cadiz. I think you only really need one day to explore here as it's such a small town. You can get all the main attractions done in just a few hours. But I would recommend coming up here. It's been lovely. And I would recommend this hostel as well, Planeta Cadiz. It's been really comfortable, really friendly. It's got everything you need and it's a great location. So tomorrow is the last day of my trip and I'm heading to Jerez de la Frontera as I've got their horse fair going on. So I'm really excited about that. But if you're planning a trip to Cadiz or if you've been here before, let me know down in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful in any way. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.